Windows 11 25H2 isn't out just yet, but there's one big question on everyone's mind. Hmm. Is Microsoft going to change the hardware requirements again like they did with 24H2? And if they do, what does that mean for upgrading or installing on unsupported PCs? So what's the answer? In short, no. Or at least probably not. Here's why. While Windows 11 25H2 is still in beta and technically could change before the final release, it's unlikely this late in the game, especially with the Insider Preview already out in the wild for testing. That's great news if you're already running Windows 11 on supported hardware. You won't need to stress about stricter requirements with the next upgrade. But what about those of you on unsupported hardware? What does this mean for you? Well, from what I've found, if your machine's already running 24H2, you're in luck. Microsoft's planning to pre-stage most of the 25H2 update in advance, delivering it in pieces quietly in the background. So when the release day finally rolls around, the actual upgrade should behave like any regular monthly update. Just install, reboot, and boom! The new features are activated and you're done. Now, if you're running 24H2 on unsupported hardware, things get a little murkier. I can't say for certain how this will affect you. It's not exactly easy to test the whole pre-staging process while it's in beta. But here's what's most likely to happen. The update will pre-stage just like it does on supported machines. Why? Because from everything I've seen, the hardware checks only kick in during a full setup or clean install, not during these background updates. On the flip side, if your machine isn't already running 24H2, say you're on Windows 11 23H2, or even Windows 10, then things change. In that case, upgrading to 25H2 will require a full install, not just the quick update. And just like with 24H2, if you're using unsupported hardware, you'll need to rely on one of the usual workarounds to bypass Microsoft's hardware checks. And speaking of hardware, like I mentioned earlier, the requirements aren't changing. Windows 11 25H2 will still require TPM 2.0, UEFI with secure boot, and your CPU must support both POP CNT and the SSE 4.2 instruction set. So if your system didn't meet the bar before, it still doesn't now. Want some good news? I got my hands on the Insider Preview of 25H2, and I've personally tested both the Rufus and unattended answer file methods on unsupported hardware. And as of July 2025, they both still work. So if you've used either of those in the past, you're still in business. And when it comes to upgrading, yep, I've tested that too. I'm happy to report that the answer file, Rufus, and Flyby11 methods all still work perfectly for upgrading to 25H2 on unsupported hardware. So for now, at least your favorite tricks are still going to get the job done. Just to be clear though, this still isn't a guarantee. Microsoft could still break something between now and the final release. But as of right now, all these methods do work. And if Microsoft does change something, Chances are the developers behind these tools will figure it out pretty fast and push out updated versions to keep things rolling. One other thing worth mentioning, and I'm not sure if this is a bug or just a weird quirk, but during installation of the Home Edition, bypassing the whole sign in with a Microsoft account step didn't work as expected. Normally you'd press Shift F10 to bring up a command prompt and create a local account. But initially, that key combo didn't do anything. However, putting the machine into standby or sleep mode, then waking it up and trying again seemed to fix it. The command prompt popped up just fine after that. Alternatively, doing a full power cycle and restarting setup also worked, but that's definitely the more drastic option. So what do you think? Are you planning to hop on the 25H2 bandwagon the moment it drops? Curious to try the pre-release for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Or better yet, come hang out in my brand new grumpy community on Discord. Let's keep the conversation going. Share tips, troubleshoot, and vent together. The best part? It's totally free. I'll leave a link to the server in the description for you. And there you have it, my friends. 
keep your system updated, back up your backups, and as always, stay grumpy.